Hey, what's up guys, it's Thunderstruck115, and today we are going to be taking yet another look at the Anna Waifu casual gamer situation. Now, I am sorry I do keep coming back to this topic. After I made a response to her video regarding the backlash, I just decided I was done with this topic and was going to move on. That is, until she decided to pair up with the absolute snake known as Vincent Martin and made a livestream response to my video specifically. Now, I'm not going to be responding to this entire thing, and the main reason for that being... It's 2 hours and 41 minutes long. If I did respond to the whole thing, we'd be here all day, so I'm just gonna be skipping around and responding to what I consider to be the main points of contention. So, if you think I'm leaving anything out of context, I'll link the original stream in the description, but anyways, let's go ahead and take a look at this. And then in 2012-2013, the casuals started playing video games and fucking ruined everything. No, the casuals have been around at least since the early 2000s, and in mm. all likelihood, they've probably been around since the early 90s. After all, the story. PS1 sold 102 million units. I highly doubt that would happen without a strong casual gaming audience. I hate Did this you... argument so much. Casuals have been around since the beginning of time. It's like, no, people who liked the idea of video games and cared about video games started the industry. Casuals were not a thing back then. That doesn't make any fucking sense at all. Well, you really, you, people really need to look into new media theory. You always have, well, this applies everywhere. You have the innovators, pretty much the people who developed this technology, the early adopters. Then you start getting into the popular phase where you would say casuals would enter the market to inflate it, where they don't care about the property as much. And that time when casuals entered the market would be known as the late 1970s and the early 1980s. As most of the people playing video games there were kids, teenagers, and maybe a few adults in the arcades. Also, I never said that casuals started the gaming industry. Obviously, that's not the case. The people that started the industry are the programmers and engineers that created video games and video game hardware. What I said were that casuals was the reason that the gaming industry existed. Because in order to have an industry, you need to have an audience of people willing to buy the product, which in this case would be the casuals. Because you want to know what the video game industry looked like prior to casuals entering it? Look at the 1960s, where the only people that played video games were the fucking programmers and engineers that were able to create them. But in 1972, with the release of Pong and the Magnavox Odyssey, it got video games into the hands of regular everyday people, which is when casuals started to play video games. And coincidentally, it's when the video game industry really took off. So, I don't even know why. You, people really need to define this casual thing. I, I really think that's a mistake I made in my video. We really need to define. How would you define casuals, And They don't play video games as much as other people. This is the same definition that you gave in your initial response video, and like I said in my response to that, that's not exactly helpful unless you define who these other people are. But no, a casual gamer is somebody who simply plays video games to have fun. Somebody who gets home from school or work and decides to play video games for a while to unwind, that's a casual gamer. People who aren't casual gamers are people who play video games for reasons that differ significantly from just simply playing to have fun. For example, if you play video games professionally for, like, an esports team like FaZe Clan, then yeah, I wouldn't consider that a casual gamer. I also wouldn't consider somebody a casual gamer if they buy a game for the specific purpose to, say, review it on their YouTube channel. Now, that's not to say that just because you review a game on YouTube doesn't mean you aren't a casual gamer. Like, for example, I've done a few reviews of games, but that just comes out of my love for those games. Or just my own experience with those games, because I'm primarily playing them to have fun. If I were to, say, buy a copy of Forspoken and play it with the express intent of just making a video shitting on it and talking about how bad it is, then yeah, that person wouldn't be casual. But yeah, in other words, 99.999% of people who play video games are casual. But yeah, my definition of casual would be pretty much who just plays it on downtime to kill some time, has no serious investment into it. Thank you for proving my point. 
sense. So you could be saying, isn't it a good thing that more people are playing video games so you aren't bullied anymore? Yes. You see, more people are playing games, gamers aren't getting bullied for simply being gamers, and companies are making a lot well, more just money off that the gaming, kids got so bullied yeah, back everybody wins with the games. <laughs> he just confirmed that shit. Ooh. That's funny. Yeah, because that might not have happened in the early 2000s, but it did occur in the 1980s. The issue of casuals entering a medium like that. this is that they don't really <laughs> care about the medium itself. They yeah, I find it hard to believe that somebody doesn't care about video games when they actively a lot of people play don't. them, but go off, princess. Oh god, that's so stupid. You're talking about a subset. You're talking about casuals. Maybe you should... Nah, they don't agree with your definition of casuals. They just superimpose, I guess, their perception. Doesn't even seem like Thunderstruck is is stripping the casual out of this. I don't think this part of your video is questionable at all, but you saw how I handled it. Well, no shit, I have to superimpose my definition of casual gamers because Anna Waifu doesn't provide a definition for casual gamers. At least, not in this first video. And the one that she provides in her other video, that being people who don't play video games as much as other people, is pretty vague as she doesn't explain who those other people even are. <laughs> Your thoughts? I mean, it, definition hey. of casuals, everyone's going to have their own special definition for what a casual is and what they are not. Here mm -hmm. It's it's like the what is a woman shit. Like they keep criticizing me for hating on casuals, but they never give their own definition of what a casual is. It's like, like you can't do that. You can't just be like, oh, uh, you hate casuals. You don't know anything about casuals. It's like, well, give me a definition, and they never give you one. That's not an argument you want to be making, because I can literally take that same logic and throw it right back at you. You are the one that made a video talking about how casuals are supposedly ruining gaming, but nowhere in that video do you provide your definition of casual gamers. They want to change everything to fit their own narrative or their standards of what gaming should be, and young people who didn't grow up with video games don't give a shit about to play older ones. No, that is a straight up lie. People That's do like to go not. back and play older games. That's if they not. didn't go back... <laughs> no, it's not. Okay, give your reasoning for it. Okay, you tell a casual to play an old Crash Bandicoot game, they won't fucking do it. They'd rather play God of War Ragnarok. Then explain why Crash Bandicoot Insane Trilogy sold over 10 million copies, which are literally just remasters of the PS1 Crash Bandicoot games. It seems to me that casuals are open to playing older games when they're made accessible. Play older games, then how come games like the original Doom from 1993 are still popular to this day? How come people still play as of nostalgia, they keep on bringing up the same examples. Doom 1993, but I doubt the people playing Doom 1993 are casuals. <laughs> My guy, anybody that simply plays Doom from 1993 because they think it's a fun game is a casual player. Now, you could argue that, like, the speedrunning community around this game aren't really casuals, but not everybody that plays Doom 1993 is a speedrunner. In fact, a lot of them just play it because they think the game is fun. Those people would be casuals. As for Anna Waifu's point about nostalgia, I find that hard to believe considering that most of the people that I know that play Doom from 1993 weren't even alive when the game released. As a casual gamer, then I find it hard to believe that they would play a game that doesn't make them happy. More than likely, if they don't like a game, they'll just go play something else. Or mm, okay. Fucking duh. What the hell does that have to do with any of her arguments, Thunderstruck? Do you have short-term memory loss? I literally played the clip that I was talking about right before my response. But let me show you how it is relevant. They don't care about quality, they care about graphics, and if it's relevant. It doesn't matter if the game is good, it doesn't matter if it's gonna make them happy, or if it's $60 worthy. No. If somebody is a casual gamer, then I find it hard to believe that they would play a game that doesn't make them happy. More than likely, if they don't like a game, they'll just go play something else or do something else entirely. My point is that if a casual gamer doesn't enjoy a game and it doesn't make them happy, then they just wouldn't play the game, because they're casual. 
This was in response to you saying that casual gamers don't care about quality or if the game makes them happy. I mean, I never Were said it doesn't make them the happy. Head? <laughs> As a child, because I don't, I'm not following what this has to do with our video. I never said it doesn't make them happy. I never said that. It doesn't matter if the game is good. It doesn't matter if it's going to make them happy. They got your ass on camera. You got me in the fucking camera. This is the clearest video I've ever seen. This is the most HD shit ever. This is 4K. How did they get you in 4K? Also, I love how you're going to say that casuals solely care about graphics when games with less impressive graphics like Tears of the Kingdom, Among Us, Fortnite, Minecraft, and Ultra Kill are popular. Okay. What? <laughs> they keep bringing uh, Ultra Kill up. It's not very popular. It's a niche popular game that him and his friends all love. But okay, maybe I should clarify. When I said Ultra Kill was popular, I meant that it was popular for an indie title. Maybe 1.7 million sales might not be a lot to a massive AAA company, but for an indie game made by mostly one guy, that's a fucking lot. I'll also point out that this game outsold Ratchet and Clank Rift Apart, so do with that information what you will. But uh, I personally think of Tears of the Kingdom. It, the graphics are good. It's stylized. It's sort of like the new Spider-Man movie. You wouldn't say that's ultra realistic, <laughs> but seeing uh, Tears of the Kingdom doesn't have good graphics. It has good. Di Sorry, I was about to say Disney graphics. It has good Nintendo graphics. Yeah, but that's because of the art style. If you look at the actual fidelity of the game, it's pretty low because of the hardware it's running on. Because keep in mind, the Nintendo Switch, in terms of hardware power, is about the equivalent of a mobile phone from 2015. And this brings up another point that I didn't even think of in my earlier videos, but the fact that the Nintendo Switch is as popular as it is, despite the fact that the graphics aren't nearly as good as it would be on, say, Xbox or PlayStation, should show you you that casual gamers don't really give a shit about graphics, at least not in comparison to things like the actual gameplay. What does that even mean? Tears of the Kingdom is popular because it's related to a popular franchise. Okay, so, yeah. Okay. So, Here's it's not about the graphics game. there. Okay, well, so sure he's it's... just completely straw man you with his deluge of examples. And like, you quit don't... bringing up popular franchises. Popular franchises are going to get popular no matter what shit game they make. Like, the, the Link Awakening, whatever, that, like, quit bringing a popular franchise, like- Alright, fine, what about Among Us? What about Fortnite? What about Minecraft? Because those were other games that I listed, yet those weren't popular just because they were part of a popular franchise, as all of those games were firsts in their own franchises. The mm -hmm. audience doesn't just blindly listen to YouTubers, and that's if they even watch gaming videos on YouTube, which, if they're casual, there is a very good chance that they don't. No, they don't. They don't care about <laughs> gaming people. So you just proved my point that most casuals don't care about games. Thank you. <laughs> you mind pointing out where the fuck I said that? What I said is that if somebody is a casual gamer, then there is a very good chance that they don't watch gaming videos on YouTube. That's not me saying that casual gamers don't care about games. For example, I care about the Halo series, in fact it's my favorite game franchise of all time, but I don't watch fucking YouTube videos on Halo, at least not anymore. Like to you, is watching gaming videos on YouTube a requirement for caring about gaming? If so, that's a pretty stupid argument to be making. <laughs> yeah, he sort of did. He doubts casual gamers. <laughs> Some people treat gaming like it's entertainment. They don't play much. That's because it is entertainment. Video games are an entertainment product. That's literally what they're fucking designed for. I wonder how many... I wonder how many of Ackman's <laughs> subscribers would consider themselves casuals or are casuals. I'm wondering if he would take a poll of that. <laughs> this entire video casuals do care about games but then five seconds later uh, but, but but they they might not actually be watching video game content it's like what those two things are independent from one another just because you care about video games doesn't mean you watch video game content and just because you watch video game content doesn't mean you care about video games there is certainly overlap but they are not dependent on one another
entertainment. They care about shilling stuff to you. YouTubers like these people aren't your friends. You're a dime in a dozen. Another penny that goes to their pockets. Well, no fucking shit. Wow, you mean to tell me that people make content on YouTube to grow their channel and gain views and subscribers? <laughs> wow, what's what? next? Grass is green, water is wet, the sky is blue? Oh. <laughs> okay, Holy at least he has some comic appeal. Oh He's pretty much agreeing with you. He's just. So what's the argument that if you agree with me, why are you trying to be like, oh, no shit? It's like, why are you bringing this up? It's so obvious. It's because you're acting like this isn't common knowledge. Like you're acting like, hey, casuals, these guys don't actually care about you. You're preaching it like it's some esoteric knowledge when in reality, damn near everybody knows this already. You buy games to play them, not watch them like movies. Can you see something like Dead Space 2 or Kirby as a movie? Do you know how boring that would be? What is so entertaining about sitting on your couch with your controller watching 10 minutes worth of cutscenes? I really don't get it. And you don't have to get it either. I mean, personally, I also don't really find movie <laughs> games like Uncharted or The Last of Us to be all that appealing. I mean, that's not the point, okay? Of, okay? No, I'm laughing. Is he going for comic just by agreeing with you? It's not really the point. The point is that people keep buying them and they keep making them. I don't... Whatever. Uh, yeah, yeah you understand. can choose not to buy it. The point is they keep making them. <sighs> Do I really have to spell this one out? Okay, let me explain something. There are many different genres of video games. Why is that? Because not everybody likes every kind of game genre. Clearly, you don't like the cinematic walking simulator genre that games like Uncharted and The Last of Us fall into. And that's perfectly fine. The problem, however, is that you're acting like every single game that's ever made has to tailor to you specifically. The thing is, though, when it comes to games like Uncharted or The Last of Us, you are clearly not the target audience because you don't like those kinds of games. The thing is, though, there are plenty of other game genres for you to feast off of. But just because you don't like cinematic games doesn't mean that other people don't. There is clearly a market for that kind of game, and that's who they're making those kinds of games for. Another example is I personally don't really like RPGs. I find that they have poor pacing due to constantly interrupting the gameplay to deliver story. I don't personally like that kind of game, but a lot of people do. Thing is, I can just choose to play something else. Like, I like RTS games, for example. I can just choose to play that instead and just let the people who like RPGs play RPGs. I'm not going to call for the cancellation of games like Starfield or Final Fantasy 16 simply because they're in a genre I don't like. I'll just simply stick to genres that I do like. Point being, if you don't like cinematic games, then just don't fucking play them. And don't complain about cinematic games merely being cinematic games. Because there's a difference between a game that's just bad and a game that's just not for you. And clearly, cinematic games are not for you. <laughs> the gameplay is usually one note, and while the story may be good, the problem with relying on the story is that you can only really engage me the first time, but you know what I do? I just go play something else. I'm not gonna sit here ranting that gaming is dead just because there are people who like a type oh of game that I might- God. Did you consume. say gaming is dead? I didn't say gaming is dead, but yeah, consume, consume. Who when the title of your video is How Casual Gamers Ruin Gaming, then it is pretty reasonable to say that you think gaming is ruined. Which, okay, fine, maybe I had a little slip up when I said that you thought gaming was dead. When in reality, it's more that gaming is ruined rather than dead. However, my overall point still stands that this is the conclusion you jump to just because there are people that enjoy a kind of game that you don't. So whether you think it's ruined or dead, that's not exactly a good conclusion to jump to based off of that. Who cares that they're being made? Just ignore it. Go play something else. Consume. It's yes. like, whatever. Yes, the jig. Defend them. Just try to keep little people like Anna Waifu, biggest simp of synthetic man, down by 
making a whole bunch of videos on her. Okay, they bring this up several times throughout the stream, so I'm just gonna address this entire point now. While admittedly I did find your video through Botacanta's video on you, I decided to do so of my own volition. Nobody told me to make a video on you, and I didn't tell anyone else to make a video on you. In fact, once I made the decision to make a video responding to you, I actively went out of my way to not watch any other videos that may have been responding to you. So even though people like Krillix and Brother Nier got their videos out before mine, they did not have any influence on what I said in my video, as I didn't watch them until after I completed mine. And I'm just gonna say this, what other people do on their channel is entirely on them. I have no control over that. And regardless of if Botacanta responded to it or not, if I found your video through any other means, I would have decided to respond to it either way. And here's another thing, I do not hate you, Anna Waifu. This YouTube shit is not serious to me. I do it because it's fun, and it makes for some quality entertainment for my viewers. As for why I chose your video specifically, it's because I thought you had a bad take. There are only two people that I have responded to on this channel that I actively hate, those being Sean the Legend because he actively defends CP, and Zero Needs Coffee because he allegedly solicited nudes from a minor on Discord. This, however, However, it's just some silly beef over video games on the internet. I do not take this shit seriously. Looks like your wish has been granted. Also, I will not rest until I have the Synthetic Man and Activision video collab. What are you waiting for? Okay, not gonna lie, that probably <laughs> would be very entertaining to watch, just not for the reasons Anna Waifu probably thinks it would. <laughs> so I think that's a <laughs> Okay, explain here. The I, 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 I don't know, it was a joke. <laughs> yeah, it was a joke, and... Okay, yeah. So I, I oh. found that image on Reddit because there's a meme in the Synthetic Man community about Synthetic Man and the, and the Act Man being a husband and husband. You know, it was a, it was, it was, it's a gay ship in the community. And I found that image on Reddit somewhere. And I just used it as a joke being like, oh man, what if they collab? Because, you know, they love each other. Am I right? You know, it's a joke. <laughs> it's a joke. Like, okay, it's, it's a so joke. <laughs> so obviously, Thunderstruck, if you're watching this, you're wrong. Yeah, it's just a joke. A joke. Dude. Has it ever crossed your mind that I realized that and I was simply playing off of that joke? Because, like, I recognize that Anna Waifu was doing this sort of shipping Act Man and Synthetic Man as a sort of joke, and then my joke was that, you know, that would be entertaining, just not for the reasons Anna Waifu thinks, and those reasons would be that the Act Man would absolutely body Synthetic Man in an argument. Like, seriously, it's perfectly fine when you make jokes, but then the second I do the same, it's a problem. I think y'all need to learn how to keep that same energy. Because to me, I don't think it's the lefties that are totally ruining this industry. It's a big part of it, but casuals are the reason lefties are even in this industry. Lefties are a big part of why the gaming industry is dying? Oh what? shit, guys, I guess I better break the news to my older brother that he's not allowed to play video games anymore because... What? what the f okay. What? <laughs> <laughs> okay, I never said all lefties, I never said all casuals. <laughs> Maybe let the video play and you'll see that I am simply joking here. Noted apparently lefties are ruining the industry, but you know, just for that comment, I'm switching the B-roll footage. Because as the video game crashed in the 80s and 90s, all- I didn't even understand that, I'm switching the B-roll footage? Is that a joke? Like, I don't get it. <laughs> it's a joke! You accused me earlier of not understanding your jokes, but then here you are completely missing mine. See, you say that lefties are ruining the gaming industry, but since you don't elaborate on that until later, I decided to make a joke because the other and more common meaning for the term lefty is somebody who is left-handed. Which is why I switched the B-roll footage to Ultra Kill where I'm holding the gun in my left hand. There's a second clip where I play off this joke even more, but I'd just be repeating myself so I'll skip past that when it occurs. Even though casuals care less about gaming, it's really pretty fascinating to watch how downhill this industry went in just two decades. No, the video game crash of 1983 happened because of an overabundance of shitty consoles and shitty games that caused consumer confidence in this industry to plummet. That's not... Oh, okay. <laughs> Go on, preach, sister. <laughs> It's like the anime crash, where like everything crashed, so they had to figure out how to make as much money as possible because the game crashed in the early 90s as well. No, it fucking didn't. 
wasn't because of casuals taking up the hobby. Also, what did you ever say? No. Casuals? No, I didn't say it was because of casuals that the video game crashed. That's not what I said. He keeps on conflating your argument with something completely you don't say. I don't know how he's interpreting this. As I said, Thunderstruck was must have been struck on the head. I said was, when the games crash in the 80s and early 90s, they had to find a way to get more money and finances, so they went to a more broader audience and brought in more people in the gaming industry. And then we, decade later, it's one of the most you know broad appealing hobby ever, but that's why it's ruined now. And guess what? The video game industry hasn't crashed since 1983. And like I said, the reason the video game industry crashed in the first place was because of the shitty games and shitty consoles. But now that there are more casuals than ever, it hasn't crashed. Hmm, interesting how that works. It's almost like it's casuals keeping the gaming industry alive in the first place. Like, I'll admit that I misinterpreted that specific point as you saying that that was the cause of the crash, but despite that, what you said here just proves my overall point throughout this video. Okay, so maybe there was a dip in the 90s you could make an argument for, but yeah, you should make a video God. on that, okay? Because yeah. even I'm lost on that. Gaming was rapidly growing in the 90s. Like I mentioned earlier, the PS1 sold 102 million <laughs> units. 90s, I meant 1985 to like, like 1990 or something. I didn't mean like 1995 or some shit, because obviously that's when, that's why I said early 90s, because <laughs> that's when, you know, Pokemon and all that stuff was coming out, and more people were getting into games. Okay, even if you did have a slip-up and you meant 1985 to 1990, you're still wrong. 1985 was literally the year that the video game industry recovered from the crash of 1983. Because it was literally the release of the NES in 1985 that brought the video game industry back from the grave. With the industry only growing even more over time. The only other thing I can potentially think of that she may be referencing was the chip shortage of 1988, but that's not the same as the industry crashing. Video games were still alive and well during that time. Now, you could argue that it slowed down the growth of the video game industry for a time. After all, it is the reason why Super Mario Bros. 3 and Zelda 2 The Adventure of Link were exclusive to Japan for two years, as they simply didn't have the components necessary to bring it over to other regions. But games were still releasing, and it was still increasing in popularity. Completely unprecedented. That's what happens when you don't gatekeep, because if you don't gatekeep, people ruin everything, just like Elvis Presley. No, because <laughs> the gaming industry is huge and encompasses a wide variety Financially, of Financially, it's huge. Shit. <laughs> yeah, I, they're not understanding the gatekeeping argument, and that's very stupid or disingenuous of them. Plenty of people talk about gatekeeping. I don't know how you would do it, though, okay? It's not practical to freaking gatekeep in such a big industry. How would you do it? Congratulations, Vincent Martin. You just proved my point that trying to gatekeep an industry as large as the gaming industry is fucking absurd. Also, regarding Anna Waifu's claim that it's only big financially, it's also big in just the amount of genres there are and just different ways that you can experience the gaming industry. Like in my original video, I used the Dark Souls example, but it would be absurd to gatekeep the gaming industry from somebody who doesn't like something like Dark Souls because there are plenty of other games that are vastly different that they may very well enjoy. Maybe if somebody's new to gaming, it might take them a bit for them to find their footing and find what kinds of games they like and what they don't. Like, it took me a while to find out that the main games I like are shooters and strategy games, and that I'm just not a huge fan of most RPGs. But that's the beauty of the gaming industry being so big. You don't have to necessarily like every single thing that releases. I can enjoy this part of the gaming industry in my own little corner. The RPG fans can enjoy that part of the gaming industry in their corner, you know, the fucking walking simulator fans can enjoy that in their little corner, so on and so forth. And this works because of how big the gaming industry is and just how much variety there is to be had. Expecting somebody to adopt that wholesale would be absurd, and gatekeeping somebody for not accepting it wholesale would be absurd. That's literally my entire point. 
Alright, so if y'all been paying attention to the play bar on my video on their stream, you've probably noticed that we're only about halfway through my initial video, and so you might be confused on why I'm ending it off here. Well, that's because y'all are getting a two-parter. Possibly. Yeah, this one honestly took me a lot longer than I thought to really get through, and the video is already longer than I was anticipating. Plus, like I mentioned at the beginning of this video, I'm kind of getting bored of this topic. Plus, I'm getting that urge to do a few other things on this channel instead. So, if I work up the muster, I'll respond to the rest of this. But there is a possibility that I'll just move on. But yeah, anyways, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit the like button and subscribe for more, and tell me what you think of Vincent Martin and Anna Waifu damage controlling. Anyways, that's it. Peace!